Welcome to the Noonday Meditation with Wayne Vernon. Romans chapter 12, 9 and following. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Here the Apostle Paul presents another of his ethical injunctions. He places this against the background of two opposing realities that believers must contend with. We must contend with the evil around us and we also have to contend with the, the good around us. The word Paul uses for evil is poneros, which denotes harmful or evil uh, in, 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 in effect and, and in influence. It, it speaks about diseased and it, it especially speaks about morally culpable, derelict vicious, mischief, malice, and those kinds of things. On the other hand, the word used for good, agathos, this word means pleasant. It it denotes, in general, excelling in any respect, distinguished and good, says one writer. It, it speaks about persons or things and in the context in which it is found, the surrounding context will, will dictate the range of meaning that this word will, will convey to us as we read the text. Consequently, in this particular context where it stands in contradistinction to evil, that which is morally culpable or or, uh, vicious, derelict, uh, mischief and malice, we gain the understanding of good here as morally upright and righteous. Interestingly, the injunction is that we should totally detect text those behaviors that are harmful to the body but the corresponding response having avoided what is evil we should cling to what is good the word we use here is a compound word apostegeo is used here and Stegeo means to hate. It is prefixed by apo, which intensifies this verb. So apostegeo, therefore, um, is not just to hate, but to hate bitterly. Not just to detest, but to detest utterly. So believers are to dislike and detest and abhor utterly that which is evil but but on the on the contrary we are to cling to what is good uh, kolao is our word here and this word means to glue wow um, it means to to stick to it means to attach to what is good Loved ones, believers are to disconnect from the evil influences and forces. Remember earlier the apostle admonished the believers to resist the world's system. The effort of the world's system to squeeze us into a mold. He said we should resist it. Here he says we should disconnect. But the corresponding action is that we should connect in a very strong way to that which is good. We should glue ourselves to that which is good. Wow. 
what an amazing admonition. I pray that today, by God's grace, we will detest the evil, the harmful influences around us. We will disconnect. We will abhor. We will, we will hate them bitterly, miserably. Hate them. We will allow evil to become a mortal enemy. But we will glue ourselves to the good that which promotes the welfare of others and that will which promotes good in the body of Christ. We will glue ourselves to it. Brothers and sisters, the language here is very strong. We should hate bitterly evil things. Whatever those are, think about all the evil things that that. Uh, compromise the unity of the body of Christ and compromise the health of the body of Christ. We should hate them bitterly, but we should cling, we should glue ourselves. The strongest of adhesive love, we should cling to that which is good. I pray that today, that will be our experience of being glued to the good. May that be your experience today. Should you need further instructions in these matters, please feel free to text the number 647-696-0422. And if you desire to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, please text the word salvation to this number as well. Someone is standing by to support you right now. If you have not yet secured your copy of my book, Six Practices of Effective Leadership, today is your day to do so. You could get your copy on Amazon, and the link is conveniently provided for you in the description below. If you are in Ontario, you could pick up your copy at the West Toronto Church of God at 1655 Wilson Avenue in North York. And if you are in Jamaica, you could pick up your copy at the, the Montego Bay, Mandeville, Waltham Park, Sterling Castle, New Testament Churches of God, or at the bookshop of the head office of the New Testament Church of God located in Rodenspen, Old Harbor. We would love to hear from you today how core leadership services may journey with you in your church or local organization to raise up leaders for greater and for future leadership responsibilities. It has been an absolute pleasure journeying with some churches and some corporate organizations over the recent months and we look forward to hearing from you because we would love to partner with you so drop us a line today and we'd be delighted to be a partner with you may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with you all amen thank you for listening to the noonday meditation with pastor wayne vernon please forward this study to your friends relatives associates neighbors and all of those persons who share your social network. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to communicate with us and we will commit to supporting you in prayer. Until we meet again on Monday. Shalom.